kind of guys who have disagreed with the message of Adonis who are always losers, they're always Jeffries. And then the same story that I've told so many times starts where suddenly something happens. If you were observing my life, something happens in May 2020 that changes it all. What was it? Just before that, I'm eating a bunch of junk food. I'm smoking weed every day. I'm watching porn. I'm living like a degenerate. You know, usually smart people will tell you, yeah, there's no shortcut or anything. And I usually agree with that. But there was a shortcut for me. I found a million dollar shortcut that pretty much no one else is talking about online. Can you think of what it was? Where I literally, within two, three nights, transformed my life forever. And that was two years ago, two and a half years ago. And my life is still transformed because of this small thing that I did in May 2020. I started to improve my mental health. You see, all this time, I tried to stop doing the bad habits. And you've tried this too. You try and stop that thing that you know that isn't good for you. And it doesn't really work, does it? Not only is the relapse rate so high, so if you want to quit video games, you end up going back to it. You really want to lose weight. You don't want to eat the junk food. I'm not going to eat the junk food. And then you eat the junk food eventually. The relapse rate is very high. And maybe worst of all, it just feels horrible to try and take a step back from something that you're addicted to. It feels like a full-time job, doesn't it? It's like when a young guy gets onto NoFap for the first time, he's almost paranoid of the next time that he's going to fap. It's constantly in your mind. Okay, don't, don't fap. Please, today's not, no, no, I'm not going to fap. I'm not, no, don't eat the food. Don't eat the food. Should I just eat the food? No, 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 don't, don't. That is a mental problem. And I realized, I don't know how I came to this realization, but it changed everything for me. I realized that those bad habits that I was doing, those addictions that I had, I realized that they were not the problem. Video games are not the problem. Porn is not the problem. Junk food, drugs are not the problem. Because as soon as you understand this, you will actually get that shortcut to improvement. And that was that all of these things that we've been thinking are the problem are not the problem. They are symptoms of the problem. Your issue isn't that you keep fapping. Your issue isn't that you take drugs, or you play video games, or you eat junk food, or all of these bad habits. That isn't the issue. The issue is poor mental health. And the symptom of poor mental health is being addicted to porn. The symptom of poor mental health is being addicted to video games, playing video games for hours every single day because someone with good mental health does not do those things. Someone with good mental health may, you know, enjoy a little bit of video games. Not even the amount that these guys online like to cope and say one hour a day. Someone with good mental health may drink alcohol like twice a year. They might like try smoking weed with their friends like once or twice or maybe five times in their entire life. And it's genuinely not even a problem for them. They never get addicted to these things. We've been focusing on the wrong side of the coin. We've been trying to stop these bad habits. And it's been so hard because trying to stop your vice that is a distraction from your horrible life, it doesn't work. Because video games for a lot of guys are genuinely the only place where he feels happy. Inside of the virtual world, a lot of guys are dragon slayers, commanders, generals in the army. You know, they've got prestige in there. They feel good in there. And in the real world, you're a loser. In the real world, you're a man of low status and that hurts and that feels horrible. And so when a video gamer tries to quit playing video games and you know, he's somewhat successful for a couple of hours. Well, his real world, his real life is just trash. He doesn't feel good. He feels unhappy. And then if he feels unhappy and he feels bored and his social life, his friends are in that environment where he's trying to get out of, how long is he going to last? He can go with, you know, this confidence. Yeah, guys, I'm never going to play video games again. I'm done now. How long is he going to last? Because focusing on the symptoms does not work. If it did, every single guy who's trying to quit playing video games would have quit. If what we've been trying so far really did work, then every fat 42 year old woman who wants to lose, you know, 15 kilograms this month, she might have done it. Everyone who's just had the wish to, you know, lose some weight or do something good, they would have done it. But what I realized in May 2020 that changed it all for me was that trying to change in this real world is not that effective. What we must do is change in our minds first. And that's what changed it all for me. The route to cure an addiction is to improve your mental health so much so that you feel so mentally happy, grateful, present, so that then your normal baseline life, like your baseline happiness is actually above when you distract yourself with video games. You want to know why happy people never get addicted to weed? Because the high that they get from weed is actually a low compared to their baseline. And the same with video games. A mentally healthy person might find some enjoyment in playing games. And usually that's just because this, like, you know, his friends are there and it's literally just the social connection that makes it fun. But even then, if you're just happy around the clock, would you sink as deep into video games as you have? If you were genuinely happy, if you were the kind of guy who seems like he's having fun no matter what he does, would you be addicted to bad habits? Of course not, because the ROI would just not be there.